Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. In America's heartland, when you come to Lincoln, there is a sea of red. Memorial Stadium, the host today for our showdown. Players getting set, coaches starting to feel a little bit on edge as we close in on kickoff. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Nebraska's coaching staff, the fans, I think everybody's been waiting to see this kid play, and here he is. Well, he's a star quarterback. He seems to bring everything to the table. The crowd, I think, senses he's ready to have a big day. And when your star quarterback feels good at playing at home and he gets off to a good start, some big things can happen for this offense. And he's taken down at the 35. He caught some key blocks and was able to turn it into a 10-yard gain. And down he goes, right around the 44-yard line. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. made at the 45. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. Runs outside for a nice game. throws and it's going to be picked off. Oh boy. I bet he knew as soon as he released that football that he shouldn't have made the throw. And that's the thing. When you're under that kind of pressure, it takes away that one split second you need to scan the area so you know where it's a safe throw. From their own 42-yard line, First down. Out of bounds at the 47 yard line. Makes the grab. Gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. He fights forward to around midfield. Lewis is the kind of guy that's work ethic really pays off. Right now, he's playing some special football and leading the conference statistically. We've got third down and one. Ball on the 50-yard line. They run it for the first, and he stops. Excellent job by the defense to diagnose the play so quickly. This is really a well-coached unit. Robinson, back to return it. Oh. 
So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Caught, open field. He gets hit out of bounds at the 33. They'll bring him down at the 44-yard line. The option's one of the more difficult plays to defend. The defense went after the quarterback, which left the running back with plenty of room. And he's tackled at the 37-yard line. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. going to try and scramble and he's going to be sacked Nebraska's got a guy behind center that can really do it all Herbie I mean he's a dual threat he can hurt you with his feet and his arm with this guy it's PYP pick your poison he's tackled at the 29 yard line He's at the 20. It's a fumble. It's recovered. Good hustle there by the D lineman. It's often an overused term when referring to defensive linemen, but that's what they mean when they talk about a guy has a motor that's running. He never quit, and he played to the whistle. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. It's second and seven. Ball on their own 18. Got it. And he goes down quickly. The middle for a nice game. Call it a gain of four yards. First down. From their own 27 yard line, it's first down. Quick strike to the receiver, and they make the stop at the 44. First down. From their own 44-yard line. First down. Now he's scrambling. Runs with it, and he's got room. Brought down around the 44-yard line. That's a deal of 12 on the play. That makes it the Cornhuskers lost a player to an earlier injury, and unfortunately, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to come back today. He's taken down at the 35-yard line. Number seven brings him down at the 35-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Right around the 38-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Get 
gets it out in a hurry. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. Once this guy gets into the secondary, he can be a real problem to bring down. He can shake off a lot of tacklers who are smaller than he is. It's the ninth play of the drive. He's taken down at the four-yard line. That brings him second and goal. Just inside the five. Second down. They come out in a goal line set. And he hits him hard at the two-yard line. That's good for the two yards. That makes it Here's the 11th play of the drive. The Cornhuskers saw one of their top players going down earlier, but it looks like he's going to be able to get back in there. They run it, and they got him before he could score. That was well defended by this defense. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. Central Michigan is looking to go up by three. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. They line up to kick this one away. Robinson fields it at the one, and he's tackled at the 19-yard line. Got to wonder right now which offense is going to open this thing up a little bit. I think the answer will be which offensive coordinator is willing to take a chance or two to try to open some plays up. Because right now, not only are they losing the battle up front, but they're really not testing the defense downfield at all. Misfortune struck as their last drive ended in a fumble. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. He's taken off, and down he goes at the 28. That brings him second and nine. Throws complete, he's got room to work. He goes out of bounds at the 31-yard line. So they'll move the chains with that catch by the tight end. Good look there from the quarterback, dumping it off and coming away with a new set of downs. Scrambling around. Tackle made at the 36. That's good for a five yards. That brings him second and five. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. He's on the run. Slides down. Not a lot of offense in quarter number one, but nonetheless, we've got a close game. 3-0, Central Michigan. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. He makes it out to midfield. That's a gain of two on one play. That'll bring up third and inches. Who that? Who that? 30 was the mic. He's into the open field. To the 20. The 10. Touchdown, Nebraska. a great effort there. Once he had some space, he was off to the races.
He makes the PAT. A seven play, 81 yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart up. It can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. Nebraska kicked this one off. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 26 yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Richardson on play action. Good tackle there in space. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Makes it out to about the 40. Now he tries to buy some time. Slides down to the ground. From their own 43 yard line. Second down. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. He's scrambling. They'll bring him down around the 43-yard line. Call it a game of 12 yards. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. Lewis takes a handoff, and he tackles him hard at the 42-yard line. That brings up second and nine. He's at the 30, gains his way to the 23-yard line. That's good for a game of 19 yards. That makes it first and 10. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Let's it fly. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. That makes it first and goal. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. And he's tackled around the one yard line. That's a deal of one on the play. That brings him second and goal. From the one yard line. Second down. Touchdown, Central Michigan. Kid is a really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he showed you why right there. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he adds the extra point. Central Michigan is lining up to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Boy, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess will be the team that wins it. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Going deep, lays it out there. He scrambled. He's tackled at the 34. He has some room. Makes it out to about the 10. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Knocked out of bounds at about the three-yard line. Touchdown, Cornhuskers. Splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Fielded at the four. They'll bring him down at the 26. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with a big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on one. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Makes it to the 34. That's a team on the play. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a team of four on the way. That makes it first and ten. Three down, three down. Mike three. Mike three. He's going to try and scramble. He's at midfield. And they make the stop at the 48. Gain of 14 yards. First down. From the 48-yard line, first down. Now he's scrambling. And he's tackled in the open field. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Man left, man left. Two down, three down. Mike three, Mike three. Combo, combo, combo. He's tackled in the open field. First down. From the 30-yard line, it's first down. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. That's good for a gain of 15 yards. That, that makes, makes it first, first and ten. ten. 
on the ground, and he won't get back to the line. Central Michigan's going to use their first time out of the half here. You know, as, as a running back, you've got to get upfield more than south. That time, he just seemed to wait and kind of delay his reaction and just got to be able to make a read and get upfield as quickly as possible. In college football, especially up in the NFL, the more you're dancing around waiting for a big play, the more time you're giving an athletic defense a chance to come and make a play in the backfield against you, and that's what happened there. From the 14-yard line, third down. Fires quickly, and it's picked off. And he is drilled at the three. The linebacker here does a good job with his instincts and in getting in the path of the receiver. Boy, what a great play. First down. Defense will be digging in here as they're inside their own five. Nebraska is up by four. Brought down around the three-yard line. No game. That makes it second and ten. Come tight, come tight. Come tight. Four down, four down. Thirty-one's the mic. Thunder! 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 Taken down right around the four-yard line. Central Michigan will take their second time out of the half. Third down. Tough spot here deep in their own territory. They're packed in tight on the line. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. So the stop there on third and long, and that's going to bring up a punting situation. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Booming kick. He drops it. Well, that's exactly what happens when you take your eyes off the ball. Concentration for return man is of the utmost importance. Offense comes back out, looking to improve from their last effort. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Tackle right around the 48-yard line. Call it a game of four yards. That brings him second and five. Slings it. And he's taken down at about the 35. Number five with the tackle at the 35 yard line. First down. Caught and he's hit immediately. Game two yards. That makes it second and eight. Here comes the pressure. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. That's the end of the half, and believe it or not, folks, it's still anyone's ball game. Nebraska's up by four. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Things are straight defensive out there right now. David, what do these two offenses have to do to open this game up? Well, it's it's fun to watch because obviously I'm a defensive guy and I enjoy this, but when, you're, when your defense is executed at that kind of level, the offense has to be precise. I mean, you got to throw it in tight windows. you got to be willing to take some chances that you normally wouldn't have. How about some trick plays, maybe? I mean, 
When you're losing the battle in the trenches, you got to find some way to kind of even it out. Maybe you get a little bit more options, some reverses, some double passes, something to loosen up this defense. Because right now, defenses are just winning out. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with the quarterback play, I'm sure. We always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He really got a hold of that kick. And he's tackled at the 29-yard line. The Cornhuskers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Got it to the senior. And down he goes, right around the 38-yard line. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Gets out to about the 38-yard line. Nice run there. With the tackle. Gain of six on the play. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Mike three, Mike three. Pumble, pumble, pumble. Oh, check, check. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tackle made around the 47-yard line. That's a gain of nine on the play. That, that brings up second, second and one. one. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That makes it first and ten. It's first and ten. Ball on the 44. Three down, three down. Zero, zero, Mike, three. Three, two. He fights forward to about the 43. That's good for a gain of one yard. That makes it second and ten. And that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Third down now. They need to get it down to the 34. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. They'll bring him down at the 41-yard line. Kicks up, and it's no good. It lands short, and the kicking team goes to the sideline very disappointed. So we'll change possession with a score, 14-10, Nebraska. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Nebraska holds a four-point lead. He's at midfield. Makes it out to about the 43. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. Number 10 on the tackle at the 44-yard line. That'll bring up second and 11. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that.
He's got it out to his tight end. And he's tackled at the 32. Looking to scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out in practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. Throws it to the halfback, and he's got it again. And he hits him hard at the 34-yard line. Gain of one yard. That brings up third and 12. He's scared. 31. Nebraska is up four. Flips it middle to the running back. He's tackled around the 34-yard line. No gain on the play. That Fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. It's up. Looks long enough. And it's good. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Let's have a look at what's going on in Clemson. And for Clemson, we might have an upset percolating in this one. And for Cunningham, he now has two touchdown passes. Louisville leads it 21-7, getting late in the third quarter. Well, if that score holds up, that would be water cooler talk on Monday morning. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 24-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Now he tries to buy some time. And they make the stop at about the 31. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. after a decent pickup. That's a gain of five on the play. That makes it first and ten. With a quick throw, the senior makes the catch. He's hit and taken down. Number nine with the tackle at the 30 yard goal. First down. from the 35-yard line. First down. He's on the run. Brought down around the 29-yard line. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Man left, man left. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's good for a gain of five yards. First down. From the 24-yard line, it's first down. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. That's good for a gain. He fights forward to about the 20. And this is the eighth play of the drive.
Backward pass. That's a fumble. They fall on it. That's a pretty big mistake, and this offense will lose possession of the football. Sloppy job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. The offense ready to go again, and their last drive ended with three points. Nebraska is up a score. And they got him for a loss. Loss of one on the play. That makes it second and ten. Quick throw. He's taken down at the 31-yard line. That'll bring up third and eight. He's got it with room to run. Brought down in the open field. That makes it first and ten. Gets out to around the 48. That brings up second and one. They bring him down in the backfield. So at the end of the third quarter, the Cornhuskers lead 17-10. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Nebraska is up seven. Makes it out to about the 30. out to about the 17-yard line. Johnson up the gut. Nice run to the left there. That'll bring up second and three. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Touchdown, Cornhuskers! Three rushing touchdowns on the ground today for this young man. If I were the head coach of this football team, I would give him the ball at least 30 times a game. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Time for a peek at what's going on at Death Valley in Clemson. Let's take yet another peek at this game. And for Clemson, let's keep an eye on this game where a major surprise could be brewing. The Cardinals are out front. 24-14. Two touchdown ball game here, Reese. 24 to 10. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Misfortune struck as their last drive ended in a fumble. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. 
They love going for the strip and attacking the football. Lewis gets the call. Makes it out to about the 40. What a run. Here they give it to the tailback and a little misdirection play. And you can see the athleticism and the ability to make guys miss. Nice play. From their own 40-yard line. First down. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. to midfield. Short pass, middle of the field. Tackle at the 46. Taken down around the 41 yard line. Gain of 13 yards. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41. He makes it to the 38 yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. He's going to try and scramble. And he can't get away from the pressure. That makes it third and 11. This is the eighth play of this drive. And he's sacked. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. Fourth down, and it looks like they're going to go for it again. Worked for him last time. Once and all, going deep. And he hauls it in deep downfield. Touchdown, Chippewas. And they had a tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. You talk about a clutch play. They couldn't afford any mistakes on fourth down there. And he converts the extra point. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Look at what happened at Clemson. This one's been entertaining us all day long. Check out these two teams keeping it close. The Cardinals lead 24-17. Meanwhile, Iowa and Iowa State square off in the battle for the redesigned Cyhawk Trophy. And for Iowa State, they keep delivering body blow after body blow with that rushing attack, and it takes them right into the end zone. Paul's creativity as a runner has allowed him to dance into the end zone a couple of times. The Cyclones have the lead, 28-21. I don't expect that that score is going to hold, but boy, that would be an upset. Central Michigan is lining up to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. 
He's to the 20. At the 30. He's knocked out of bounds at the 38. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Nebraska is up by a touchdown. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. the middle for a nice game. Nice run up the middle. That'll bring up second and three. around the 22-yard line. And he tackles him hard at the 19. That'll make it second and seven. From the 19-yard line, second down. scrambling they bring him down they get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started this young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen it's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that and this play is number eight on the drive just over two minutes in the game Here's the halfback on the screen. They'll bring him down right around the 22-yard line. About three yards that time on the screen. Central Michigan's going to take their first time out of the half. So it's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Kicks away, and he's got it. Nebraska's got one of the best quarterbacks in the business. He played like one on that last drive. Well, that drive was huge to set up that game-winning field goal. The quarterback at the time just looked so relaxed back there like he was just playing a video game, just making good decisions and moving the ball right down the field for that game-winning kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job of being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the money. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Throws this one out to the right. And he's tackled around the 48-yard line. Newsom makes the tackle. Disco Raver! Disco Raver! That makes it first and 10. Right down! Right down! Right down! Right down! They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Second, and ten. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Just under two minutes in the game. 
Quick out to his receiver. And down he goes at the 44-yard line. That'll make it third and five. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Just an unbelievable stop when they had to have it on fourth down, and that should be the football game. We're about set to start things up again. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Johnson gets seven yards on the play. Central Michigan will take their second time out of the half. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Run right side. He's tackled around the 49-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Central Michigan's out of timeouts. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. He'll take it from the 18. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. Looking for his man, incomplete. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. Mike Green! Mike Green! He unloads it. And that's his receiver who's wide open. And he's finally shoved out at the 42-yard line. He's got 100 yards in the game now. you got to love this quarterback-receiver combo. Talking to these guys before the game, they told me they spend about an hour after every practice perfecting the routes. It sure shows. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. This one's over, folks. Just time for one more play to get some stats. So don't be surprised if you see everyone trying to pick this one off. It falls incomplete. This one's in the books. The Cornhuskers take this game. 27-17. So that wraps things up for us. 3A Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.